So today's question is my iron has always been low. What does this mean for my fertility? Hey there, welcome to Ask the Fertility Experts, a daily Q&A show where we'll be answering your fertility questions. I'm Sarah Clark, founder of Fab Fertile. We specialize in low AMH, high FSH, diminished ovarian reserve, and premature ovarian insufficiency or failure. I will be joined by Dr. Tabitha Barber. She is triple board certified in obstetrics, gynecology, menopause, and functional medicine. If you have a question, simply go to Fab Fertile Inc. on Instagram, leave me a DM and drop your question there. And we will answer your question on an upcoming show. That's Fab Fertile Inc. on Instagram. Take care. So today's question is my iron has always been low. What does this mean for my fertility? We see this a lot when we do our blood chemistry review and we're uh, not diagnosing, we're educating and, you know, people being anemic and like pale and almost, you know, low energy and, and their iron has been low for years and they may be supplementing, but, and that can be good. So that, that can be part of it, but well, really, why is it low in the first place? Uh, what's your take Dr. Tabitha and how does that impact fertility? Yeah. So we, we might be low because we're not absorbing the iron in our gut. We might have gut dysbiosis, leaky gut, preventing that absorption and utilization. We might have um, a liver that's not functioning well, and it's not able to store that iron and keep it for later times. We might not be making our red blood cells appropriately in our kidneys. I mean, there's so many ways that iron is needed. But here's the thing that we now realize is our ovaries have all these mitochondria, our little powerhouses that make our energy or ATP. And iron is required in four of the steps to make ATP. And so if you don't have enough iron to pull from in you know your bank account reserves, I like to think of it as like we eat and we cash the check and we're living paycheck to paycheck if we don't have anything in the savings account. And so if you don't have any iron stored up, if your ferritin is like 10 or 20, you there's nothing ever to pull from. And so those mitochondria, when they want to make energy or ATP to make a healthy ovary and ovulate, there's nothing to pull from. And so it really does affect the ovary health overall. And the biggest thing I see is women having heavy periods, not replenishing it, not eating an iron rich diet, or they have gut dysbiosis and they're just not absorbing what they're eating. So there's a few ways to kind of evaluate why is my iron low? The other big player is B12 deficiency or folate deficiency, and that affects the fetus. So, so many reasons that you need to get this resolved, right? <laughs> and what do you think of different, um, iron, um, supplements? So if there's like an iron, there's, there's a patch and, a, and some supplements, like what's your take on some of those? So there's a lot of cheap iron supplements out there. You go to CVS, Walgreens, whatever, there's shelves full of iron supplements. And these are really dirty forms of iron. They're chelated with, um, forms that aren't, they prevent you from absorbing it. You know, ferrous sulfate is a dirty form of it. I don't recommend it. It causes constipation. It doesn't increase your iron stores. It just causes more heartache than anything. So unfortunately, that's what most people take. You need to get a high quality iron supplement. I like the iron patches or the iron liquid that you're bypassing the gut. You're going straight into the bloodstream. That makes such a huge difference. And you're not getting the constipation and all the horrible side effects. Thanks so much for being here. If you've got a question that you want answered, simply go to Fab Fertile Inc. on Instagram, send me a DM, and we will answer your question on an upcoming show. That's Fab Fertile Inc. and send me a DM. And please refer to our disclaimer below. Take care.